going back to my roots, yeah, to the place of my birth, back down to earth. Right, I think that's enough of that bullshit. <laughs> right, as you can see, I'm in the Electro. And I'm on an old map. Uh, many of you might remember this map. Some of you might have never seen it in your puff. This is the map called Mirage. And uh, it was one of the often played <laughs> maps and it had an odd easter egg in it as well now it's uh, been removed from the game it'll still be in the, the blitz file somewhere it may appear rebuffed uh, remodeled whatever but uh, it was a classic old map and one of two that uh, you never see the light of day now. And when the uh, the game had no drama, um, you had the odd noob call, but uh, it was completely different from what the game today is now. There was only a select few YouTubers on the go at the time. I think it was about five or six top linked YouTubers, um, and uh, some of them have faded away, and some of them are still appearing to this day, maybe once or twice a week or something. And as I've s spoken to quite a few, uh, there's other ones who are now making a return, um, mainly due to one part of uh, drama that appeared. I got int, uh, I got uh, no interest whatsoever in getting involved in it or mentioning any names, but uh, he's a lol have a rough idea of what happened, or what's supposed to have happened, or what is alleged to have happened, and then suddenly there was uh, blitz YouTubers coming out of the woodwork, ones that hadn't been on for years and ones that had just started uh, sad state of affairs really using someone else's demise whether it be a victim of any allegations or the victim of the allegations it doesn't make any difference to use that to boost your uh, boost your, your views and all the rest of it I couldn't be fucking arsed with it it's uh, not my cup of tea. But anyway, going back to the good old days. Mirage, this guy's AFK by the way. As I said earlier, there was an easter egg on Mirage. And you could only see it by doing one thing. And that was driving into the water. Yep. Many of you will remember the old yellow submarine that was sunk on the opposite side. You see where the Marder 2 is marked up in black and it's dead? Well, adjacent to that, near the water side, there's a couple of where the boat is that you can see. If you drove down to the water side there, and you'll now see that there's a, a tall shed, uh, a boat shed coming up. Underneath that boat shed, to the right hand side of it, was a submarine. And it was sunk in there. But uh, that was one of my earlier masteries. This is a game back in 2019, when I was doing the Ace Challenge, the Tech 3 Ace Challenge, and uh, that was it. Now you can enjoy the next one, and you can tell me where it is in the comments. Have fun folks, enjoy. Stalin's baby, the KV-1S. Now, the KV-1S, this is flying a little bit different. 
Why? Because I've got the 122mm gun on it, the V2ST, and that's got a reload time of 17.67 seconds. <laughs> but it uh, it hits hard. Um, the armour on this thing, you start off with uh, 960, but the armour on it is where up with the turret is 100, at the front 90, at the rear and the sides. And the hull is 75, 60 and 60, size and rear. Now there's movement over there, there's a wall being crushed, there's another wall being crushed, and what we've got there, the KV-1. Let's drop a nice one into him, and just go back in and go up, spotted this obviously. But your DPM with this, you're running the 122, is 13.58, but the aim time is 6.9 seconds. <laughs> yeah, you've got to have uh, balls of steel to run this gun on this tank. But if you run it like a TD and uh, don't rush in like a, a YOLO and clown, then you've got a chance of doing some serious damage with it. Your pen on your AP is 175, uh, your APCR is 217, and your HE is 61. Um, your damage, as I said, is 400 with your AP. Oh, there's a Leo coming. Oh, nice wee ram corner. Bump. That'll do. 50 tons of heavy metal against the tier 5 light. No, that oh, doesn't work. Anyway, as I said, your damage, what did I say? AP is 400, your APCR is 340, and your HE is 500. But your HE only pens 61. So if you get a side or the rear, a medium or a light, tier 5 or tier 6, you might do some damage. But uh, HE at the present time, since the last update, is not doing as much damage as it should do. But uh, as far as your dispersion on this thing at distance, it's uh, 0.375, so it's nothing to write home about. Um, you've got 8 degrees of gun depression, so it's not too bad on hills. Oh, there's another fire on the deeper. Oh, right, what have we got left? Two left. Yeah, two left. We've got the Cromwell and the Matilda. Right. And a fast wee bugger. The Cromwell's a good tank. Pens at 160 at a time. And Matilda, depending on what gun he's going, she can pen at 90. Uh, can we get a wee dunt in here? No, I can't. Right. Swing, 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 swing. We've got a good high roll there, 170. 168, he's getting dead. And there's the Matilda. We've got a good one in 143. Matilda 4. Hmm. Okay. But he's doing it a one shot. And boom. Night, night. Right, that's them all done. I've got the five kills. Yep, and the mastery. Top gun, high caliber, Radley Walters, and a legendary fire. That's what we like to see. Those burn baby burns. So, that's 58 tanks. Bought 58 aced. Fired 8 shots, hit 8, penetrated 8. 2 for 680, 2 for 797, 1 for 650. 2 for 497 and 1 for 399. 37,000 credits on a free account. Alright, that'll do. There's a the top mastery. Now, I've been asked a few times on uh, how I usually determine what the tanks are by using a lot of icons at the side. I very, very rarely look at the uh, original lineup. I like to test myself. I'm always into stupid little challenges like this. But this is one aspect that I use, one aid that I use that I got years ago. And it's, as you can see, an armoured vehicle recognition system. Um, the details of where it was gathered for them has uh, been removed for legal reasons. And uh, as you can see, it shows silhouettes, side top view, back view, and if you flip the cards over, it's got the details of what the tank is, what it was used, 
when it was used, the armament, the whole thing. Now there's a whole lot of more, there's a lot more than this, this is just a select few. But that's what I use to sort of train myself up, um, so that when I'm playing realistic, and I, or I've got all my markers off, that many of you have seen me doing quite often, so I know what the tanks are. A little bit of homework always comes in handy. I don't always win, I don't always lose, and... Uh, as far as win rate is concerned, I could give a chuck's arse what it is. It's, uh, it's a game. But learning how the game works and what you're up against when you're up against the Reds gives you a little bit of advantage for the future. So that's how I learn the icons that are on the right hand side of the maps when they appear. Stay safe out there, folks.